Yeah, this is uh, this is actually one of the coolest things that uh, has happened to me in a while. Um, I got a call uh, or email a few weeks ago from Eric, who is an old dear friend of mine. Uh, Eric's one of the one of the top uh, sports marketing guys in the country, and we go way back to the early '90s and and uh, back before I was under contract to Under Armour, Adidas, or Nike. Uh, Eric just had the goodness of his heart. Uh, actually reached out to me and, and hooked me up with some sponsorship and stuff in terms of gear and, and supplements. So we, we've had a long relationship and then when uh, OG Orlando Scary came out of the University of Georgia, uh, he hooked up with him and has been a longtime friend of their families. And so when they called me and said they wanted to come by and bring the family, uh, obviously for me, it's like your, your children coming home. So I was thrilled that uh, they would come by today and spend, spend the day with me and bring Josh, his youngest son, uh, who I actually had the, the privilege this summer of working with up in uh, Baltimore. I do a camp up there, and so his dad brought uh, uh, Josh and his, his older son, uh, Orlando Jr., uh, to South Carroll High School where we did we did a camp, so I got to hang out with them for the week, and, and uh, that was it was a highlight of my summer. So, you know, it's uh, it's always cool uh, to get a chance to hang out with people that you love and care about, and, and uh, these guys are special. Um, Orlandis, when he came out of the University of Georgia, uh, he'd always kind of been in the shadow of Terrell Davis, came out of uh, Marshall. Uh, so when he got here to me, you know, we, we knew that he was um, up against uh, a lot to get a chance to play in the league, and he came and worked extremely hard. I mean, every day was uh, he worked as hard as the last set as his first set. Um, so he endeared himself to me as a coach, and we had some other good players that year. He, that particular year, he came out in 1999, which is hard to believe it's been that long ago. Uh, but it was the same year that Champ Bailey came out, who was uh, who went on to be a perennial Pro Bowl player and retire after a lot of years in the league. And, and some other guys that played a long time. Matt Stinchcomb was a first-round draft pick. And, um, uh, so Jermaine Wiggins, who got three Super Bowl rings, was in that class, who also came from Marshall with Orlando when he came from, uh, from Marshall to UGA and <clears throat> ended up playing. Uh, Terrell Davis got hurt that first year. and, and uh, he led a team in Russia, and uh, I think was it the league. Did you know the, the league? It was close. Yeah, I was, had the rookie, you know, rookie record, and then um, after that, I started the uh, game five, I believe. So they had a four-game head start. Yeah, so that's pretty incredible that he was able to uh, do what he did. In fact, I, I, when I saw him this summer, I thought him he got cheated. He should have been he should have been offered the rookie of the year that particular year to do what he did, and and uh, went on had a five-year career. And, uh, where he played with Denver and, and uh, great, great career, great, great running back, but even better person. So um, get, today, get a chance to hang out with these guys and, and work with them a little bit, train them, and, and spend some time with Eric. Get caught up on what he's been doing, and so it's, uh, it's been it's been really cool for me. Let's go to one of the guys in. Well, it's cool for us too, uh, Chip. You know, which one wants to? You want to talk? Uh, who wants to talk? All right, I'll talk. Okay, let me let me come to a one shot on you and look look at Chip and and go. It's great to be down here, Chip. I mean, we've been friends for a long time, and this is actually the first time I've even been in your place. Even when you had your old place, I actually planned on coming. I had lived in Atlanta right before I met you and I just had never made it back. We'd meet each other out on the road and stuff like that. So it's awesome to be here. You got a great place here. And uh, uh, Orlandis, when he was telling me he was going to Atlanta, I was like, well, I got to go down there too. And we're both talking, so, hey, it'd be great to jump in and uh, see Chip. So appreciate you having us, man. Uh, it was awesome, you guys. Okay, you guys. and it's awesome, and <coughs> go. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. We you know, actually got a chance to come in and do a little training today, and Josh got a little chance to, to work out with his dad, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, we, we really enjoyed having you on. Um, <coughs> you, you want to say, uh, uh, why don't you talk a little bit about, uh, well, it, it was great being out there, but I, I remember those chipping meters. You had chipping yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, just yeah. brought say back, that, probably brought back a lot of, yeah. a lot of memory. Yeah, just, just, just say something like that and, and how, how reiterate one more time about your son being here with you. And he's a great athlete. And, and so uh, I'm going to come and go ahead and look at Chip and say, yeah, everything Chip, say, everything Chip except those, um, I enjoyed everything today except those chipping meters. And <laughs>
Definitely, Chip. I enjoyed everything today except for those Chipper meetings. I mean, <laughs> gosh, it's been a long time, but as soon as I first put them on, it brought back some memories that I... Probably not good ones either. <laughs> definitely. definitely. But, um, you know, I just, I just, I feel good to be able to, to, to give my sons um, the same opportunity I was afforded. And I, I mean, just to know, you know, that the longevity that you had in the business and the game, and um, it's, it's great. I mean, I just look at you like a father figure, you know, the way you're handling your boys. I just, you know, it, as a, you're definitely a great role model for me and, and my kids going forward. Well, I'm, I'm humbled that you would say that. Okay, well, uh, I'm sorry for, <laughs> well, I'm humbled and go. Well, I'm, I'm humbled that you would say that. Um, Eric and I were talking earlier about the longevity in our industry and what separates the good and the bad. And, and I think ultimately for me, it's all about personal relationships and you know, as I told you early on, I, I care about you whether you ever play one down in the league. And to see the, the father and the daddy and the husband that you are to your kids, that's really what matters. I mean, you know, he probably never got a chance to see his daddy play. And he's just heard stories about how great his father was. But when you're around other people that got a chance to watch him play and, and, and see that he was a great player, you know, less than one half of one percent of guys get a chance to play on Sundays. Your daddy played for a long time and was a great player. And, and uh, more than that, he's a great dad. And to be able to give back to you and your brother, um, his experiences, uh, and surround you guys with people that, that are, are quality and character guys that, that you can look to. And, and uh, that's really, at the end of the day, what it's about. And building that family atmosphere. And so, you're, you know, you're, you're part of our extended training family. I was not kidding when I said, when you walk in, this is a house that you built. I mean, all these guys that came after you, you know, your, your sweat, your blood, sweat, and tears was in the carpet. And, and uh, I'm quick to point out when these guys, young kids come in, the guys that paid the price early on that, that came through, that trusted the system, that trusted us in those relationships. Because again, at the end of the day, you, you gotta trust that what we're doing is gonna help you. And, and uh, you did that. And uh, your story, again, like I said, is very compelling. You know, um, a lot of guys get drafted high, but when you do what you did coming out and, and being in the shadow of somebody that was a great player and Trail Davis, uh, and then be able to step in and play and take over and not miss a beat and actually contribute at an even higher level uh, was pretty pretty special. So I'm, I'm honored you guys are here. Okay, um, you want to? Uh, I'm honored that you guys are here. Is a perfect way to get out. Okay. Is that 